Hey guys, how you doing? Quick video, I'm going to attempt to decipher the teen application list. I'm going to attempt it, I'm not making any promises. So first of all, this is a mess. Too many applications, too many small differences between the products, it's just... Hey guys, how you doing? So the original plan was to go through each of these uh, suspension kits individually, each of these models individually and just explain what each one did and then just say you know what the difference was between say Flex A and the Teen Street Advance for example but I did that, did a couple of takes, too difficult so in the end what I did is I just did a matrix in Excel and then I just done an overlay then with the uh, points that I see in the points that I want, the features I want in a coilover. First, first of all from my point of view, what you need in a damper, top mounts from the coilover or from or the original top mounts. Um, personally, I'm neither here nor there. I think there's pluses to both of them. On a road car, I'm quite tempted to say the original, using the original top mounts is uh, better. One because the ride is nicer. It's because they usually have more rubber in them. It gives the it gives the a nice soft edge to the ride, which is can make a big difference. And two, the top oh, original equipment top mounts are usually much, much cheaper to replace. Height adjustability. I like height adjustability from through the bottom mount because it gives you a much bigger range of adjustment. And when you adjust the height, you don't lose any stroke. The downside to that is the damper is going to be a bit heavier. But generally, I think having the bottom mount adjustable it is the is a good way is the way forward. I definitely have the damper that is adjustable for softness and hardness. Absolutely, without that, I don't see the point in coilovers. And basically, that's it. Electronic in-car damping control. It's a it's a nice thing to have, I suppose. But I've never had it on a car, and to be honest with you, I've got adjustable dampers on my car, and I've never felt the need. Or the desire to change the settings of the dampers once I've found the um, the optimum setting. Basically, that's it, guys. That, that's what I want. Height adjustable with a bottom mount. Um, I'm not fussed on the top mounts. Not fussed on electronic damping. Um, but I definitely want it uh, adjustable for hardness and softness. Mono tube, twin tube. I suppose if I was going to be taking a car on track a lot. Um, the mono tube dampers are supposed to be a bit stiffer, and if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, also have a slightly bigger oil capacity, which will mean that they uh, perform better for longer because the heat is dispersed through a greater volume of oil. But for a road car, I'm not sure if you need it. Um, guys, that's basically it. The guide to uh, tain suspension, tain coilovers. Hopefully, it's you know clear things up a little bit like I said it is a bit of a mess if you ask me in my opinion as always please vote in the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time